Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty with the OG TR-76 Geist. Geist means ghost in German. But this isn't your normal haunt, your specter, your haint. Some people in the South use that word. This is a single shot beast of a Geist. Let's take a look at the configuration. Most important, the Geist single tap mod. Look what it does to the damage. 94 in the head, up 109%. 63 in the torso. 54 in the lower torso and even 45 if you hit the upper legs of course comes at a cost recoil but you're shooting one at a time you're not going to feel it rate of fire 472 rounds per minute which gives it a very fast time to kill if you're within the effective damage range of 22 meters and that's a long way on the maps that we're going to be playing on minimum damage range is 44 meters decent bu bullet velocity at 680.4 meters per second. Let's have a look at the mobility. You absolutely run like a scalded ape with this thing. 5.1 meters per second is your movement speed. Sniffing your feet, which grandpa doesn't do. 2.4 meters per second. Sprint speed at 6. Tax sprint speed at 7.1. And look at the ADS movement speed. 3.6 meters per second. You're going to be bouncing off the walls. ADS speed is a blitz during 211 milliseconds reload quickness 2.8 seconds could be a little faster you only have 10 rounds and empty reload quickness is three seconds sprint to fire speed an excellent 113 milliseconds the stip step 66 grip helps with recoil the expedite grip pads going to give us a little better sprint speed that's a composite six meters per second and the ads movement speed up nine percent composite 3.6 the lock point two short barrel i put this on for the ads speed i don't care about the effective damage range or the minimum damage range of the bullet velocity impact and hip fire we're not going to be doing a lot of finally the dr6 hand stop that helps with the composite ads speed and sprint to fire speed it also helps with the movement speed hurts the hip fire spread and tactical stance spread but like i said we're not tax stancing i did try the TR-76 in various configurations with uh, larger magazines in them and I felt a little bit sluggish. I thought I'd try the Geist 10 round single tap mode and it was impressive. It is a beast. It's a gack -a mole machine. Let's take it onto the field of honor and see how it did for Grandpa. And away we go on Shoot House. High risk, high reward. The Geist single tap mode i never tried it in modern warfare 2 in fact i doubt i even know it existed other than maybe watching the exclusive ace video comment down below if you tried the single tap mode in modern warfare 2 you only have 10 rounds and i went through those in a hurry so i was constantly changing out the magazine i think the reload time's a bit slow, I think. If you're going to take that big a risk, they ought to give you a break. Of course, the 94 headshot damage is quite a break. We get behind on Shoot House. This is my favorite map. There's somebody touring, just watching the scenery there upstairs. Not that there's that great a scenery here. Uh, did I get that kill? Oh, somebody's shooting from behind. And you can see that you can put out rounds very quickly. And if you get two or three shots in somebody, they're pushing up daisies. <laughs> I don't even know what happened there. I think the guy must have been shooting over me. But I managed to get myself behind by four. Throwing out the proximity mines, hoping they'll do some work. Oh, uh, a good situation turned bad. Stepped on his proximity mine myself. Down by seven now. Notice that that awful recoil that the statistics show just doesn't show up. It doesn't show up in the game. I wouldn't let that scare me away from this. Every time you fire, though, you better change that mag if you if you got to have the opportunity. I think we got a double kill there. And we're still behind by five. 
getting towards the end of the game. We gack the king, we get a quad feed, we buy the farm. Expensive real estate. Really, you don't need to walk around ADS unless you know there's somebody in front of you because with a almost 200 millisecond ADS speed, it almost feels like a pistol. That poor guy was shooting over me again. And we've gotten the lead by one. Grandpa can't ex contain his excitement. Uh, you, you don't need to be camped down looking down sight for somebody coming around the corner because somebody behind you is going to whisper with a bullet in your ear. Two more gags, we win this one. Nothing there. Somebody behind a proximity mine, I made the mistake of releasing the trigger before he was dead or stopping firing. And there's a Snickers victory. 30 gags. So satisfying. So I, I was really impressed with the Geist. I think I played three free-for-alls with it. And it is a powerful gack -a mole machine. You're also extremely nimble with it. Yeah. But you can't dodge bullets. Let's see if I can keep in the game this time. Keep it a little closer. Go behind the headshot. You saw the ADS movement speed. Just wonderful. For a weapon this powerful. I would probably take this if I had the chance of only two weapons or one weapon that single shot over almost any marksman rifle because it just puts out bullets in a hurry and those bullets are powerful of course when you're out of bullets you're out of ideas the enemy has an idea for you this this particular one was bloody i switched my gloves to the quick grip so i could switch to my renetti faster I often use the commando gloves, reason being is I want to be able to change out the magazine on the run, especially with a 10 round magazine, but, but the 10 round magazine also meant that I ran out of bullets pretty quickly, so I felt it would be better to be able to just switch to my secondary. Look at there, look how fast you can shoot with the thing, 470 plus rounds per minute, and that guy's crawling. He's crawling. He's also respawning. And we get a one gack lead. There's always somebody hiding there waiting for folks to come out to welcome them with a hollow point. There's always somebody hiding over there. I tell you, if I was going to camp a map, and I never do in free-for-all, I wouldn't camp the classic spots, that's for sure, because you have seven other players checking them every time. There's an easy gack. What was he looking at? Nothing. Ooh, there was somebody off to my left. Let's see if we can outrun him. And he's Elvis. He's up by two. I've slayed the king. He's no longer in the building. Yeah, that guy doesn't have a chance. Once you get up close, you get the first shot in. You run out of shots, though. And Grandpa does this typical getting yacked, putting out a turret twice. Tie score. Just need that last gack. And said, I love you with the Renetti. Hey, the Geist is a beast. Single tap mode, an absolute beast. You need to try it if you haven't because you will rule the battlefield. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. It helps me, helps the family. Peace. We're going to have a little excitement with that team. Free for all. Weapons free. Engage all threats on target.
Nobody's perfect. Sorry, I'm 66 years old and I forget. One minute remaining. Polite. Somebody just passed by me with a knife. Oh crap. We've secured the field. Mission accomplished. Well, that wasn't very satisfying, was it? <laughs>